the top 10 toys and hobbies dropshipping products that you need to sell on your dropshipping stores to start making a killing and profiting from this niche. Now, we here at AutoDS, we've been noticing the rise in sales in this specific category, and that is why we decided to create this video for you guys to help you out along the way with the toys and hobbies niche, which is one of our favorite niches and categories to sell. Quick intro, let's begin. What's up everybody? My name is Liran from AutoDS. I'm the content producer and I've also been dropshipping for the last four years. And like I said, in this video, we are going to cover the top 10 toys and hobbies dropshipping products that you need to sell on your dropshipping stores if you want to succeed in this niche, which is one of our favorite categories when it comes to dropshipping. And right before we begin with the first product, I just want to remind you, if you are new to our channel, this is the part where you subscribe to get all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that are coming out in the dropshipping industry, which is always created from dropshippers for dropshippers such as yourselves. Now let's begin with the list of the top 10 products. The first product that we have in line for the toys and hobbies niche are hand operated drones. Now I know what you're thinking, drones have been out for a while and people are dropshipping them all over the place. But drones, just typical general drones, I agree with you, they are saturated and they're all over the place. However, when you start to micro niche these drones and see which drones inside these drones are selling, you will start to notice that there are drones that you can sell that not a lot of people are selling. Now, I just want to remind you guys, AutoDS supports over 20 suppliers, which means you will have access to millions and millions of products. So you'll never run out of products to sell. You'll just need to know which products are selling hot, which categories are trending right now. And that is why we are creating these product finding videos for you to make your job just this much easier so you can start to sell and profit right away. So hand operated drones are really trending right now. And what they are is pretty self-explanatory. It's the drones that you guys know about, except these ones are operated and move according to your hand gestures. So as you can see here, you can find them from multiple suppliers. They come in different colors and shapes, and they don't have such a high price tag like regular drones that you guys are used to. So hand operated drones are the first on our list. Grab them and add at least 20 of these to your store. In every product that I'm going to recommend in this video, I want you guys to add 20 products. That way you can analyze each category successfully. And that way you can see which products are working for you, which products are not, and how to multiply your success on those that are working for you. Now, before we move on to product number two, all the way until 10, I just want to show you guys a neat trick if you guys don't know about it already. And this feature will show you how you can import as many products as you want to your store at once in just a few clicks. The first thing that you need to do is download and install the AutoDS Helper extension. So if you just open up Google and write down AutoDS Helper, the first link will take you to the extension. And once it installs on your Chrome browser, go to the supplier page where you have all of the products that you want to add to your store. Let's say we want all of these hand operated drones that we see on this page. Okay, so we have all of these drones on the first page of our search. Let's say we want to add all of them to our store. So as you see here on the bottom, there's that AutoDS circle. That is the extension. And if you don't see that extension, just refresh the page because you just installed the extension now. If you still don't see it, just contact our support and they'll be more than happy to help you. But there should be no problem with this. Click on that extension and then click on extract. What just happened is all of the product IDs that we see on this page over here simply extracted inside this little extension that we have down here. The next thing that you need to do is click on export as CSV and then an export file will be downloaded onto your computer. The next step is to open up the AutoDS platform. And while I'm recording this video for all of you guys who are with us and are dropshipping on eBay, you will not be seeing this layout yet, but you will see it soon. How soon? That is a little secret, but you will know when soon. Now, once you opened up the AutoDS platform, click on add products on the left side, then click on upload CSV. And here you can drag and drop that CSV file or click on it to open up the file browser window and double click on that export file. Next, make sure that the supplier source down here is correct. So in our case, we chose those products from AliExpress. The region of the supplier is China. You have more options in advanced options. I will not go through it now. Click on next and then you will start the import process of all of those 60 products. Here you will choose all of their settings so you can choose a template that you want. The product tags, which I highly encourage that you use this function. So I'm going to create a tag called toys and hobbies. Create this tag. 
Now, all of those 60 products will have this tag, and in a month or two, when I will want to analyze this niche, I will just have to open up the toys and hobbies tags in my products list, and I will see only those products out of the thousands that I have, and it'll make it much easier to analyze this niche specifically. Now, if you click on next, you'll get to the pricing, then the shipping in policies, then you can import all of these products to your store or import them to your drafts and continue optimizing them before importing them to your store and having AutoDS start to monitor them. So in just a few clicks, you will have all of those 60 products. Add as many products as you want in just a few clicks with this method. Now let's go back to those 10 products. So we talked about hand operated drones. Now we're moving on to number two on the list. And on number two, we have remote control cars or RC cars. And of course, these have been around for a while, but there are always new versions that are coming out. There are always people who are buying them. We have noticed the increase in this category, especially this year in 2020 with more people at home trying to entertain their kids. Year by year, you're seeing new 4x4 features and new stunt cars that are coming out. Kids are always into this, not just boys, even girls, and not just kids, even adults get a kick out of these products. My recommendation when you're adding a general niche like this, my recommendation is to always check out new releases along with bestsellers and make a good mix out of the two. Because when you're looking at bestsellers, you're looking at products that have already been proving themselves and people are buying them. And this is a good example of a product that you need to sell. On the other hand, because they are bestsellers, there's a good chance that they are saturated. That's why you need to optimize your titles a little bit and make your product pages look a little bit different. And also check out new releases because in the new releases, you will find some secret hidden gems that other people are not selling yet. And if you will get it before your competitors do, the sales will be yours and not theirs to have. And another really important tip is to stay away from trademark products like this Yoshi over here from Mario in Mario Kart. Stay away from products that are trademarked, stay away from products that are copyrighted, and you won't have any problem selling this product and finding the best sellers within this niche. So remote control cars is number two on the list. Now let's move on to number three. And on number three, we have foldable mini drones. This is another micro niche of the general drones category, which we saw is selling a lot. And there's no reason why you shouldn't sell them either. So it's just like the regular drones that you guys know about. Except in this case, they are not hand operated, which makes them a little bit more easier to move around and travel. And this is another type of drone that they are buying. So foldable mini drones like the ones you see in front of me are those hot sellers right now. Grab them and try to add 20 of them to your store. And if you can't find 20 good ones from one supplier, simply move on to another supplier. My recommendation is always to work with three suppliers. So foldable mini drones, number three on the list, and let's move on. On number four, we have digital drawing boards. Now this is a very cool item for kids. And may I say that it's also fun for adults. There are drawing boards for adults too, like you can see here in front of me. So if you just add kids to the start of the search, you'll start seeing the drawing boards that are made for kids. Like you see the ones in front of me here. Now, just because you will see that kids drawing boards are selling well, it doesn't mean that adult drawing boards are not going to sell for you too. So once again, when you start seeing success in one niche, think of how you can start multiplying that one too. And another small thing, you see this no packet and e packet. It's a small helpful little feature inside the AutoDS Chrome extension that will simply help you know if the product has e packet or not. And the total processing days, instead of having to go inside each listing and seeing it for yourself. So this is a cool feature that we have on AliExpress. And that's just a small tip. So digital drawing boards, number four on the list, add 20 of them and let's move on to number five. And on five, we have building toys as simple as they sound. They are selling a lot. Let me show you guys some examples of building toys. Here, you'll also need to stay clear of trademark products. We have a lot of trademark companies like Lego. So stay away from big companies that you know of, that you've heard of. And when you're adding products to AutoDS, it will inform you if you're trying to import trademark products. So you have that extra layer of protection. But in the beginning, use your head. After that, AutoDS will let you know what's up. So you don't have to worry too much, but do use your head when it comes to trademark items. It will just save you some extra time and hassle that you don't want to deal with later on. Once again, search multiple suppliers, search bestsellers, search new releases, add at least 20 of these product ideas and start seeing what is selling for you and multiply your success from there. Next, on number six on the list, we have dress up and pretend play. And this is one of the categories that children love the most. Dress up and pretend play, search it as it is inside your supplier search engines. 
it's hard to know what the exact price of this product should be because once again it's bundle packs and you can't just go to some local store across the street and see the same exact item which makes it even harder to know what the exact price should be of what we're seeing here so there is no average price that's letting you know how much you should sell this product for which means you can happily make at least 30 percent profit if you ask me that is what I do on my dropshipping stores and that is what I would recommend for categories such as this one. So dress up and pretend play is number six on our list. This brings us to number seven and now we have plush toys. Now plush toys are those dolls where you can add stuffings inside and the reason that we decided to add them is obviously because we have seen the sales, we have seen the rising upwards trend. Just stay away from Pikachu stay away from scooby-doo and stay away from those trademark items there are more than enough plush dolls for you to sell and once again if you're not happy with one supplier's results move on to the next that's why you have the advantage of three suppliers so plush dolls is next on the list for one of the trendiest niches that we have noticed that has been selling recently and next on the list on number eight we have puzzles now again it's a very general category and this is where you're going to have to check out the best sellers and the new releases to make a mix out of the two and just by the amount of reviews that you can see here almost 3000 here almost 2000 here and most buyers do not even leave reviews so you can try to get a good understanding of how many people are buying these products just make sure to search in the right places as i've said before you can sort out your searches from your suppliers check out the new items check out the best sellers to get those secret hidden gems that other people have not started selling yet so puzzles is number eight on the list it's one of the biggest sellers in the toys and hobbies category now let's move on to number nine and on number nine we have toy figures and once again if you're asking yourself which toy figures do i need to sell because there are a bunch then you are definitely correct there's a bunch of toy figures so once again in this case search it up with multiple suppliers check out the best sellers those that are selling the most like this one sold about 2000 units this one sold 1.4k this one sold just about 1k and this is just regular lego products but if you continue to search you'll start learning about more items that are selling well so search for them and also check out new releases after you've learned about what is selling look for similar items in the new releases and don't forget to add at least 20 of them to your store i would recommend in toy figures even more this category is going to be a little bit more difficult to see what are the best sellers inside this one but once you'll find them you'll start having a blast because toy figures are one of the most popular products that are selling inside the toys and hobbies niche it's one of the first products that people are searching for and are thinking about when they start searching for toys to buy for their kids or maybe for themselves add at least 20 and you'll start seeing your results from there this brings us to product number 10 on the list and don't get bored on this one because toys and hobbies does not have to be all about entertainment you can also sell remote control vehicle parts so you know how a lot of people have rc cars a lot of people are also buying them and they're also looking for replacement parts just because one little thing broke on their cars they don't want to buy a new rc car some of them can be expensive models and they're just searching for a small replacement part to fix their broken RC car and one of the best selling categories for dropshippers and it doesn't matter if we're talking about refrigerator replacement parts or laundry replacement parts or vacuum cleaner replacement parts or any other device or products that people may have they need replacement parts for them and they're looking for them on the internet on eBay on Google and that is why you should always keep your eye on replacement parts as a dropshipper so let me show you guys remote control vehicle parts as you can see here if you look in between the vehicles you'll also find the replacement parts you can also put yourself in the right category in order to find it but as you can see here you can already find them so you're seeing some screws here and some wires there you don't have to understand what you're selling as long as people are searching for them you don't need to be emotionally connected to the products that you are selling the customers are happy your store is profiting and that is what it's all about i also recommend you guys to add more than the quantity of one because if somebody sees replacement parts from your store and they need them and they can't really find them anywhere else there's a good chance that they'll buy two or three units just to have some extra units lying around so they won't have to search for you or other stores when they'll need it again so that is the 10th toy and hobby product that you need to sell on your dropshipping stores to start enjoying those sales and profits i hope that you guys enjoyed this video we have a lot of product finding videos that we are always releasing to you guys because we really want to help you guys on your journey to success and we also want to hear your success stories now if you appreciate the value that we're passing on to you in these videos 
we would highly appreciate it if you would give us a little like share this video so that your friends and family can also learn about the wild and amazing world of dropshipping and if you're new to our channel this is the part where you subscribe to stay updated on all of the latest and hottest topics that we have in the dropshipping world when it comes to product finding and strategies to maintain and scale your store suppliers marketplaces and everything else that you need to automate your business and make the most profit possible at the end of the month thank you for watching see you in the future videos bye bye